Hey everyone, Professor Hank here, and today we're going to talk about how you can write your own C string handling functions in C using pointers and using the null terminator. We'll see how to do this through a couple of examples. So in our first example, we'll write our own version of the strlin function, and we're going to pass to it a C string. Pass a C string to our function, and then this is going to count the characters and return that count. All right, so we're only gonna pass just the C string. So if we're gonna return the count, it's gonna be an integer. We'll need to name our function something. We'll call it string length. This is our own version of the string length function. We'll accept an array of characters as our only argument. And we're gonna be able to do that because remember, all C strings have a null terminator, right? So. That is the null character represented with the escape sequence backslash zero. And so we can test for it. So we can do something like this. We could say for int i equals zero. And so long as string of i does not equal the null terminator, then we'll execute the body of our loop and then increment i. So what are we gonna do in the body of our loop? We'll just add, we'll just plus one to a counter. And then uh, let's go ahead and define, and initialize our counter to zero. And then when this is done, we'll just return the count. So that's all there is to it. So you don't have to have a second parameter here indicating you know, how big the C string is. You can just pass this straight away because you can test for the null terminator because every C string is gonna have a null terminator in it. Let's check it out. So let's create a uh, C string, you know, an array of characters here, and we'll just call this name, say, and then we'll initialize it with Hank. Okay, and so in memory, this is going to be five characters, right? There's going to be H, there's going to be A, there's going to be N, there's going to be K, and then there's going to be that null terminator at the very end. And that's what we're testing against right here. All right, let's go ahead and run this. So our own strlin function, strlin, and we'll pass it name. Okay, and then we'll store the length in an integer variable. So see out the string length is len okay that's the c string length because that's what it is it's a c string you're going to see that's going to say four so you can see there's the four so so let me give you another example here where we can use a pointer so let us say that we wanted to write a function that would uh, search and replace characters in a c string so we'll call this uh, replace and what we're going to do this time is we're going to use a character pointer and we'll need a character to search and replace with, right? Or search for and replace with, okay? So we'll need that and we'll also need the search character and we'll need the replace character. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this pointer right here to traverse, right? Rather than using the familiar array notation, we'll use pointer. So what we can do is we can say, all right, while, you know, we're gonna dereference tree, we're gonna go to the memory location whose address is in tree, and while that is not equal to the null terminator, then we're gonna do some stuff. If what that pointer is pointing at is equal to what we're searching for, then we will replace what the pointer is pointing at with our replace character. Once we have done that, then we will advance our pointer, right? So there's a lot of stuff going on here. And so let's be clear on what's happening. Now, when we call this function, what's gonna happen is, is that the memory address of the first element of the C string, the first character in the C string is going to be copied into this first parameter, copied. It's passed by copy, it's passed by value. So what's gonna happen when this function gets called is it's gonna have its own pointer. When you pass an argument to a function, it's like, assigning a value to a variable. So the memory address of the C string is gonna be copied in here. So when we go through and we do this string plus plus here, what we're doing is we're updating this pointer, not the original one, because you can't with the original pointer that gets copied here with the original C string because it's constant. So what we're doing here is we're dereferencing. Go to the memory location whose address is in string. Check that. Is it not equal to the null terminator? If yes, then we're gonna say, okay, well, go to the memory location whose address is in stree. Is the value there equal to what's in S? If so, then go to the memory location whose address is in stree, and then place there whatever's in R, and then once that's done, add one to our character pointer, 
right? Add one to the memory address in there and thereby advancing the pointer to the next position within the C string. So let's test it. We'll get rid of this stuff here and we'll do something like character state Mississippi, right? So let us say that I don't like S's for some reason, right? So we'll see out the state so you can see that it said Mississippi initially, and then we'll call our replace function. I'll pass to it state, and then um, we're gonna search for S's and we'll change them to T's, okay? Because we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy, you know, changing the name of the state from Mississippi to Mithitippi or something like this, okay? Okay, and then after we're done replacing, we'll print it out again to show you that it has been updated. There you can see there's the Mississippi, and then you can see there's the updated version Mississippi. So now you've seen some examples of how you can write your own C++ C string handling functions using the null terminator and also using a pointer. Okay, so that's gonna bring this video to a close. If you're a student of mine, you have questions about any of the topics that were covered in this video, feel free to drop me an email, stop by my office hours or hit me up on Zoom online. For the rest of you, if you thought the video was useful, please consider giving a thumbs up. If you thought the video sucked, you got the thumbs down button as well. Consider supporting the channel in various ways. You can subscribe, you can join as a member with additional perks for as little as 99 cents. Leave a comment, whatever. But most of all, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.